Hello guys, today in this video I am going to show you how to install SQL Server in macOS. So here you can see I have opened a URL and to install that we first need to install the docker here. So docker we need to download and install it. So to do that I will search for docker here and once I will do uh, like search install docker okay then we can see the link here uh, from docker website and here I am using uh, Apple with M1 chip this that's why I will click on here to download the M1 chip application for docker installation and then here it will start downloading and once I will click on open in finder then I can see here the downloading in the process okay and now you can see the downloading has been completed and I will click on this icon here to open in the finder and here you can see I will double click and here you can see the docker I need to drag into the application uh, to uh, put it in the application uh, startup okay and also I will click on here docker for installation okay and now you can see uh, the installation process has been started so right now it is verifying the docker you can see that it is loading and then it will start the process for installation and you can see now docker in the app is downloaded from the internet so it is showing it is asking for the permission so I will just click on open and here I will uh, it is asking for a password for installing the docker so I will click on ok and I will enter my macbook password here ok and uh, I think I have done the wrong password I have entered ok and let me enter it again ok and now I will click on install helper ok and here you can see uh, installation has been started I mean it will show me here yeah, it will show me the agreement here so I will click on I accept the terms and I will accept it ok and now it should uh, start the docker application ok and yeah it is taking a little bit of time you can see docker icon is here coming now uh, in the top and you can see the message given docker desktop is starting ok so it will take little bit of time to start or to finish the uh, internal process to complete the uh, all installation process ok so now you can see it has come in the tray and here you can see yes it is coming it in the home so now docker has been started you can see so here I, we can install multiple things like you can see mongodb postgresql redis nginx so all these things we can install it so now our next thing is to uh, uh, let me first search here uh, terminal ok and here I will uh, go ahead and install this uh, Rosetta uh, to handle any uh, software that is not built for M1 chip because I am using a uh, Macbook for like with M1 chip here ok so I will paste it here and I will install the Rosetta here so I will click on enter here for installation and it will say ask for the agreement so I will just click here a for agreement ok and now you can see the installing ok installation process has been started and now Rosetta is successfully installed ok so now uh, the next task is to uh, let me just move ahead and uh, let me check ok so everything is looking fine till now so now our next task is to install the SQL server on Mac ok so as you can see here it is asking for the uh, like to change the uh, docker or allow 4 GB of RAM to, doc to docker let me check whether we have done the same or not ok uh, we need to uh, I think I am looking for that option now ok I think it will come in the preferences ok let me check it again ok 
maybe we need to go to settings yes here i think i can see here resources yes here it is preference and it is already assigned the 4 gb of ram i need not to do anything with this okay so i am good with the uh, ram configuration okay so now next task is to install the sql server on mac and uh, this line will not work i mean this sql server will not work on m1 chip because it this command is given uh, for i think for intel chip okay so i will i will find uh, something different okay okay and before that let's move to install the data studio uh, your data studio because it is not available in mac okay means we cannot install as sql server management studio in mac we have to use uh, azure data studio here in macintosh so here i have so i am here in microsoft website and here i need to install azure data studio for m1 chip okay so yeah you can see here mac os installer and once i will click on that okay it will download okay and I think uh, this is not specifically designed for M1 chip that's why I think it might use the Rosetta inbuilt uh, I'm not sure right now okay and that that cause that could cause something kind of like over uh, processing or, or taking a lot of memory in the RAM or maybe okay and now you can see the data studio has been downloaded and I am going to double click on it for in starting the installation okay and now uh, it is it is going to start you can see in the in the docket also in the tray icon it is showing me something in the process okay and now you can see it has started okay yeah uh, here you can see a geo data studio has been started okay and now uh, yeah it has been started now let's move to the uh okay uh, move it to the application folder so that it uh, could show in the applications okay so you can see here uh, it is uh, the application folder and all applications are available here and i think azure data studio will come at the top because uh, it is arranged alphabetically yeah here you can see azure data studio is coming at the top okay now our next task is to uh okay let me do it start it again and you can now our next task is to run this command so you can see here the command which is running right now which is starting docker run hyphen e accept uh, license is one and i am giving here the password and i am also giving you the uh, developer mssql and also giving you the username of the mssql server with the port 1433 and the name will be sql and i am downloading it right now from microsoft.com and that is uh, azure sql edge okay so i am installing azure sql edge here to show you okay i will i will put that in the that uh, line of command uh, in the in the comment section and here you can see once that is installed then you can see that sql is running right now in the docker container you can see here okay uh, okay you can see here that sql is running right now and we can access it uh, i think let me first run it another command that is docker ps okay to check the process status okay of that uh, currently running any items in the docker and you can see currently we are running sql server okay which is started five minutes ago okay and now our next task is to uh, run or access that uh, SQL server in the your data studio so to do that i will uh, i will uh, i will put here the server name as localhost because it is currently working in in, in the localhost at 1433 uh, port number okay which is the default port for sql okay so we need not to put here the port number and with the username as you can see in the command i have passed sa and in the password i will also copy it and paste it in the password okay and that's all what you need to do and let me click on connect and you can see i am able to connect with the 
database and now you can see our local host is running and in the database I can see the system database here this is option for any adding new connection this is for something okay so so all active con uh, connections so all these things you will see okay and I will click on new query to run a new query so let me first create a database here by using the command create database okay and here you can see and uh, let me put my database name as test okay and now you can see command completed successfully that means test database has been created okay and right now master database is selected by default you can see at the, the top okay most in the drop down list master is being selected okay and these are the system database so uh, if i will refresh it then let me check whether it is coming or not test database no okay so in the system database it will not come okay i think okay no problem okay and let me move ahead and create a uh, write a command to use test and you can see uh, let, let me run it first this command by selecting it okay and now you can see test database selected at the top in the drop down okay and now uh, I will run a different command okay you can see here test is selected okay and now I will uh, let me disconnect it and try to connect again just to show you how we can do the connection here uh, in the server name okay uh, we, I will okay I will add here localhost for the server name and username will be sa and the password will be uh, same which I have already copied from the command okay and here here now I can uh, see here the connection property here I can see and currently like docker is using Ubuntu operating system okay which is 18.04 okay and now uh, I will go ahead and create uh, I will create a um, let me create a table here okay by writing query to create a table okay uh, let me just uh, uh, copy and paste it from somewhere else okay so I will just paste it and I will modify this command okay let me change it from person to something else okay like employ okay and now I will keep everything as same okay and I will run it and you can see command executed successfully okay and now what I will do I will uh, I will try to insert a uh, few data here in the table okay so I will write a query insert into employee and then column names will be ID last name first name okay and then its values okay and then the property of sorry the value actual in the uh, as an integer first yes let me put it one okay because it is not right now to increment okay and now the last name will be Kumar and first name will be Raj Hans okay and also I think we are missing one more column okay let me also edit age here okay and now age could be let me extend to 23 maybe okay yeah and now I will select it this insert command and I will execute it okay and as you can see one row affected okay let me run here the command to select sorry query to select the data from table employ okay select star from employ okay uh, and now uh, we should able to see the data from the employee table okay and now let me click on run and you can see the table data is coming here okay in the same way let me also put it here too okay and yeah the data will remain same okay let me change the name and also the age maybe okay and again let me run this insert query uh, for adding one more row and now I will try to select it and you can see the second row is also inserted okay so 
uh, what I think uh, uh, that is all it looks like I have covered okay uh, so that is all guys in this video